Hey, good morning to all God's people. This is another day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So this morning, I've woken up early to come and speak because um, in the last few days I've been off or under the weather. And um, still, I need to continue to do what I have to do. So if I don't make the time for it, it will never happen. So... This is here we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to be talking about do not be afraid. And it's based on Mark chapter 6 verse 50. So in that account, this was after the feeding of the 5,000. And Jesus had sent his disciples to Bethsaida. They, were, they went in a boat to go to the other side. And he had gone to the mountain to pray. So night came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. The wind was blowing, and so the disciples were straining to row the boat. Jesus came walking to them on the sea. Can you imagine that being on the sea in the middle of the night, and then you see an apparition or a vision or the outline of a person coming towards you? How would you feel? So they thought he was a ghost when they saw him and they cried out all the more. They were troubled. So then he talked to them and said, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. What comforting words. Such comforting words. Today my question to you is, what is making you afraid? What is making me afraid? Is it your health? Is it your finances? Is it just life in general, your children, your work, your faith? There are many storms blowing around us seeking to intimidate us. The wind appears to have gone out of some of our sails. You know, sometimes you feel that you're high on high ground. Um, everything is good. Everything is ship shape. And then something comes to throw you off and it just destabilizes you. Hang on a moment, bestir yourself, be quickened, look to him, he is your peace and he is your strength. Sometimes when problems come, we forget whom we have believed or whom we are standing on. You are standing on the solid rock, he is the most high. Um, picture it, he sent his disciples away to the other side and they were in the boat going. So. Let's put it this way, Jesus was their source of power because they could see him physically in those days. They went around him, he encouraged them, he poured into them. So that was their source of power, their source of light, but he was not on the boat with them. He was on the other side. So they were just being tossed to and fro because their source was not with them and they did not look to him. It's only when he showed up that he offered those words and then they became quickened and came, be stabilized, came to their senses. I'm here to tell you the same thing. Today we have the Holy Spirit. He's our guide. He's our comforter. He's our strength. We need to rely on him. When troubles come, we tend to just run to everybody. A thousand people later, then we remember that we need to pray to God. Sometimes you're on your own, you need to pray, you need to learn to stand on your two feet because your words have power in them. Speak to the Most High God. He is the one who will not make you afraid. It is not man. Sometimes man even makes you afraid because man can intimidate you or man can be angry at you or man can be on at cross purposes with you. Man could be upset with you or for whatever reason or you've upset them. So... In these times, in any situation you find yourself in, you just remember that the Most High God is with you. Like I said, He's your peace, He's your strength. And I'll go back to His words again in Mark 60. Sorry, Mark 6, verse 50. He is the one who decrees to you, be of good cheer. Do not, it is I, do not be afraid. I'll say it again. He decrees to you, be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Look to him. 
because it is only Him who will lead and guide you, strengthen you, and sustain you. Stand on this word, stand on His word, and go forth in victory. May the Lord bless your day. May you go out in His glory. May He bring you favor. May excellence be your portion. I thank you for listening. Have a good day. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.